Well, we got a few hours to kill before Hans is ready to talk to us, so let's go speak with Aaron about his loss. The fuck happened? Hello, Johnny, you're here too. I swear to God, I'm, I'm, I would be so... <laughs> I can't punch Johnny in the face because he's in my mind. But I am so sick of I've got a bad feeling. I am so unutterably sick of Johnny Silver Hands. I've got a bad feeling. Uh, uh, give me one second. I gotta go talk with my girlfriend's grandmother. <clears throat> Straighten up a tie. V doesn't wear a tie. Uh, but, you know, let's be on our best behavior for this one. Hello! Um, that one. So you're the girl who's been dating my Ranita, yes? Interesting. <laughs> Block. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember what I said originally in the base game. Uh, yes, ma'am, that'd be me. Respectful. Name's V, nice to meet you. Manners, what a surprise. That doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> so I think I said the other thing. I heard you're from Night City, born and bred, they said. I left Night City for a bit, but now I'm back. Let's break away from the yes ma'am nonsense. Never thought I'd see a city as weird as this one, but Atlanta sure gave it a run for its money. Well, Seattle is nice, and I'm sure it will soon turn out to be just another city with the same old problems. Seattle's nice, is it still? So you're a merc now. What exact? What is it that exactly that you do? I think right now, just trying not to die. Not everything went according to plan. My last gig. So I'm cleaning up my mess. You're honest. I like you. Yes, you need to be honest with her. That's uh. That's going to be important. For this woman to respect us. Uh, what are your intentions towards my granddaughter? I've never understood this question uh, when it's asked. Like, what are your intentions? You ask a prospective girlfriend or boyfriend. I don't know what, if anyone can... If that even makes sense to answer. My intentions. A lot of people, I don't... I, I mean, I wouldn't know very easily on normal dating protocol, but I don't imagine most people go into the situation with deliberate intentions in mind. <coughs> But, I'm trying my best not to mess things up. The most honest answer. She's special. I agree. Well, that was educational. You can call me abuela. Which means grandmother in Spanish. Or gra gran. Something, sort of slightly more informal version. Take good care of my Renita. I trust you. Uh, and Judy <laughs> immediately texted me back. She knew exactly when this was going on. Uh, oh no, we're texting her. You weren't joking about your abuela. I want to use the word. I know, just got off the hollow with her. And? Question mark? She loves you. Thanks for talking to her. I know she can be a lot. A lot. Not a lot. She can be a lot. You're the best. All right, Judy. It was. N I I enjoyed, especially originally, getting to talk with Judy's grandmother. That's adorable. Um. You. I don't. We're gonna start a conversation. Continue conversation with you. I don't remember starting, but we'll talk to the server. Ah, uh, looking for someone. Was, no, yeah, looking for someone. Hey, looking for someone. Name's Aaron. Jim's the size of a Calcos truck. Wayne's the boxer. Sure, he was here. Where is he? He say where he was going? Was. He say where he was going? Nah. Two guys came in to see him a while back. That's all. Two guys. Tombs, clearly. Same vibe, just bigger than him. That doesn't Endless. sound good. Not good. Seem to be going for a smoke in the alley. Might still catch him. Hmm, I don't I think you know that those guys weren't friends, but okay. Oh, he's gonna be dead in a dumpster. 
I already see him. Fuck. Dead? Good it's like, yeah. Take heart. Guy tried to do the right thing for once in his life. My fault. If I just convinced him to take the drop, he'd be alive. Looks like he's been... He's had his head bashed in. Can't help regretting it in some way. You don't feel a thing. Heard this song before, V. Know the lyrics by heart. That's it? But he even went down. I mean, if he would if they wanted him to fall in the fight, I mean I don't know very well how boxing works, but I presume if you go down that's the same. I don't know. It's sad. I, I kind of had... It wasn't always... The most honest person, but he seemed like a good soul. No more. Uh, what's this? Uh, Zeta Tech. Receive what Thomas trying to sell a Zeta Tech ocular implant. Oh, this is this guy. This gig we did. Bells ring, buzzards buzz. I trust I didn't point out the similarities between said prototype and the one you sought among the scavengers. The very same, perhaps? Thought we closed that contract. I'm lying, I know exactly what's going on with that. Yet we did, yet it still might interest you to learn that he was last seen in a Golden Pacific squat. Is that a new thing we should be able to do? Excuse me. Uh, Golden Pacific Squat. I don't even know what that means. No. Mr. Hans isn't getting back to me immediately, so I don't know if I have to do anything about that. We got one guy we tried to save has just been found dead in a dumpster. Another guy we tried to save is already on Zeta Tech's radar. Hassan, wasn't it? I can't remember. We can't do anything right. This is very demoralizing. We can talk to Judy's grandmother without necessarily embarrassing ourselves. <laughs> That's about all we've got going for us at the present. <sighs> okay. Rippers. Got one down here. I thought... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the other... Actually, there's one right next to me. Let's, uh... Let's go to the Ripper dock. I've got a bunch of money to spare and I've got some new upgrades. I should start thinking about better gear in any case. Oh, this is, the, yeah, this is the Ripper Dock we saved in one of the other gigs. I like how Coach Fred wants to talk. Shame what happened to Aaron, but the boy knew the risk. He wasn't handling it all too well. So his story probably would have ended like that either way. Thank you for trying, V. Not helping, Coach Fred. Really not helping. People constantly say that, like, oh, I would have ended up dead anyway. Well, that's not a comfort. Who <clears throat> has ever been like, well, they were going to die anyway, and being like, oh, yeah, you're probably right. I feel better now. This would be a common response around here. Everything seems to have cleared up here after I massacred everybody. Is the Reverend round here? Or the Padre? Whatever his official title is. Hello. Everything, uh, can't speak to you. Everything seems to be in order around here in any case. I'm glad. This Ribberdock guy might have been a total piece of shit. But, you know, he is helping people. And he may have done something to that woman's brother, but, you know, that's none of my affair. Sup, Anthony? Well, well. Our humble clinic has a visitor. 
You have a few visitors. How's the clinic doing? Back on your feet after the scabs visit? What were we supposed to do? Curl up and cry? See this guy. <laughs> when nothing is ever easy, the difficult must become easy. That's one way to to put it. Tell me about yourself then. What 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 makes you you, sir? What makes the difficult easy? I'm wondering. What series of events leads a man like you to a place like this? <laughs> and since when do you know what type of man I am? Fate? Is that what you're insinuating, huh? I'm here because I choose to be. Night City's kind of a shithole. Right. <laughs> kind of a shithole. Of something you wouldn't expect on the TV. Okay, yeah, look, any cyberware for sale. Spare implants for sale or all of them spoken for? Nothing's wasted here. We can find something, provided you don't try to haggle. No haggling. Well, I can't haggle, literally, by definition. This game doesn't let you. Alright, let's look at the operating system. I want to start thinking about... How the hell do you get the tier 5 quick hacks? Maybe you can upgrade this? It takes 75, I've only got 30. Huh. Let's see, I think those need to be installed on a tier 4 plus, but it says tier 5, which is slightly confusing me. I'd like to install... Well, I need more RAM anyway. How much would I get, actually, if I were... if I did have the uncommon... Quick, uh, uncommon. It is quick at components. No, it's not. It's just regular components. I can't find out. All right. Let's see, I've only got 12 RAM base. I've got about 20 RAM to hand because of my own upgrades. Let's. What have I got to install? I mean, I could upgrade some of these, but I don't really want to spend those. Components. I I had something. I think it might have been no. Basic Kiroshi optics. I'm currently wearing Kiroshi Sentry optics. Kiroshi Cockatrice optics would cost thirteen thousand. Increase crit chance by 25%. Effective active when scanning. Give me a second to uh, read through this. That would nearly film out my um, cyberware limit. This would be good. Let's see what my other options are. I can afford that. Uh, I've got a smart link. Now, for my Ballistics Co-Processor, this increases ricochet damage. I really don't need this at all, this Ballistics Co-Processor. The Smart Link would increase target lock duration and crit damage with smart weapons. And get plus two max RAM. I should... Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, practically a no-brainer. Yeah, let's, let's swap this out. Can't get that without ambidextrous. Circulatory system. What do I got? I think I bought one as a unnecessary. I want the adrenaline boost booster for increased stamina and crit chance. I probably want the blood pump. Definitely want the blood pump, and I got that one for free anyway. So this threat evac. Increased movement speed when your health drops below 25%. Melee attack speed. Minus 15 stamina cost for shooting. Does shooting cost stamina? I have not noticed that, and therefore that is a useless stat. If I, if I genuinely have never had a problem with stamina in firefights. Or at least I've not noticed it. That's, that's too specific. This one, the heal on kill might be a really good one. Yeah, plus 5 health when you neutralize an enemy. Buying that. Uh, new nervous system. This is a lot of these are based on, on Like I think the reason I don't have any is because a lot of these are based on blades and throwable weapons on melee Which I don't do so I avoid them slows time. I don't really want to be doing that. I know it seems like it would be a benefit It's cool attuned as well. This one's reflexes attuned which I have a lot of so a 
Karen Zikov, cyberware, would allow me to perform ranged attacks while sliding, dodging, or dashing. Slows time by, uh, is that what I wanted? I was thinking of that crit chance per attribute point. Mitigation chance? 26,000? Neofiber? Reducing coming damage uh, by current mitigation uh, strength. Default 50%. Bonus wicketer damage, bonus melee damage resistance, and increased weapon handling. Alright, go on. Spend the 26,000. This is a hefty cost, but worthwhile. Uh, the range guard, can that be upgraded? Actually, upgrade to tier 4. I, don't, I just don't want to spend those ones because I want to upgrade my cyberware. And the frontal cortex, anything it can slip in there. Intelligence attuned. Instantly recovers 15% max RAM. Don't I have one of these? RAM upgrade. That would give me t plus two max RAM. Same. I don't know what that's changing then between the tier three and the tier four. A slight increase to RAM recovery rate. See, the X disc would give me a plus five max RAM. Increase unload speed for quick hacks. Damage per attribute point. Yeah. All right. Another 17,000. All right. That should be all I need for the time being. I'm not going to spend any components. I want to see if I can save them up to upgrade this one to tier 4 plus. I need 75. 30 at hand. There we go. Thank you. Read the message from Mr. Hans. I have waited a few hours. Got some cyberware installed. Uh, the message will be in T. I've got one from Reed. And one for the DA notification system again. Okay, Reed says... What don't they have? I'll keep trying with hands, keep you posted. Then he res respond, responds, What don't they have? Minotaurs, wyverns, exoskeletons, snipers perched in watchtowers. Either we get some ironclad intel or the conventional way in is out. Alex tried leveraging some contacts, all busts. One officer willing to open a back door for us suddenly went dark, probably choking on dirt or salt water by now. I've got my own who could give us an outside chance, but that son of a bitch is best at what he does, not wanting to be found. Not exactly a confidence booster, especially coming from a super spy. Chill, I'll find something. What's the old expression? This ain't my first trespass of a max security hotel. Um, yeah, okay, that one. This ain't my first trespass of a max security hotel. Literally, Kempeki Plaza. Don't think he'll necessarily like our glib nature, but there we are. And Mr. Hands. Heavy hearts. The building is a large imitation pyramid. I dare say you can't miss it. I haven't, Mr. Hans. You'll need the elevator access code as well, 2589. Any chance of a 0541? 0451? Alright, head to the pyramid. We'll go talk to Mr. Hans. Another one from the DA notification system. Good god, they're just never ending. You should block this number. You're the police. Uh, I gotta go in at top, so no point in dropping down to cut the line. I would appreciate it. This same vehicle! This is the second time I've seen this exact vehicle. I'm not stealing this one. It's got soul. I, I, a, a destroyed city does not have soul. A destroyed city might have character, I suppose. Not a fantastic character. Not an enjoyable character. Hello. 
You don't have a problem with me coming in. I'm just going to walk in. Seems like there are people in line, but maybe they're just out having a smoke. I had to sneeze there. Sorry. All right. I think we've already spoken to the barkeep here. But um, how's the frame rate round here? Good for you as well? Oh, that's rough. The amount of people in small areas really does impact the frame rate. Hard. 2589. There we go. 2589. Boom. In we go. And then we got key card required. What if I press that? No, need, you need a key card. I don't have a key card. And the private rooms. Which is presumably where Mr. Hands will be. Dad's working. Oh, he's talking to his children. He has children. He has a family life and they almost certainly don't know. What he actually does. Oh, he's trying to keep his family life secret. You know, that's fair enough. I won't press him on it. I like the Egyptian hieroglyphs here. Yeah, I'm really going for a proper pyramidic appeal. I thought it was just, you know, entirely aesthetic. It is supposed to invoke Egypt. Mr. Hands. Ah, it isn't the... You my favorite Merc. are not what Splendid. I expected to see. That's some spectacular facial hair and some sphinx cats the behind you. Field vis -a -vis Excellent work, precisely as requested. What is wrong with your mouth? Something looks really weird about your mouth below that bit. Yeah, you're not what I expected to find. You look good, though. I kind of like the black and white uh, design you've got going on there. That's some spectacularly done facial hair. <laughs> kind of somewhere between modern and 19th century. Uh, flattery, really? Please, make yourself at home. Uh, okay. Come on, Hans. Flattery, really? Seems a little beneath you. An overused tactic. Agreed. Unnecessary. No, V, this is strictly business. For those who do their work well, praise is a mere restating of the facts. I didn't expect a face-to-face uh, -face with the elusive Mr. Hands, and I didn't expect you to look quite like you do. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect, to see the man behind the hollow curtain. The elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Despite some setbacks, you retrieve the Zeta Tech blueprints. Making impossible decisions under immense pressure. An invaluable skill that few possess. You don't know that I left let the guy live. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision you to can't see my eyes and meet in person. Darting around the room. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Because it's a bit of a lie. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Are you trying to Dot get rid of Handsome? Pacifica, I... Then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'll be done. There's the coked up businessman I was expecting. Right. What are your plans overall? Do you Working want to run it like Hanson does? Positively a treat. How's this going to help you with Hanson? And maybe I can get some more information. I haven't really read up on you, if I'm honest. Geeks you had me do. How will they solve your Hanson sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out so his So you know opponent. about that as well. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes... So you're directly challenging him for... Connects fists ...rule with in Dogtown. I'm replacing Hanson with you. Not that I have a problem with that. I you seem... May not seem all that ...like the right man for the job, actually. You stand, Weirdly enough. But the... ...gigs you have completed... ...will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the... Chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Aim to undermine Handsome, run him out of Dogtown? Or sounds like politics, the grimy kind. 
I like how that every time he talks, the music goes down. He's got a system <laughs> that improves sound suppression when he speaks. Well, that's what it seems the, like. Our business grows cold. I just want to hear that again. Sounds like politics, the grimy kind. Sounds like you're out to get your hands dirty in local politics. Pun intended. Yes, well, Dogtown is a political arena like any other. It has its relations, arrangements, power struggles. All right. A careless businessman might easily drown in the mud. Me, I prefer to stay dry. And arrest you in some tea. It's my own blend. I would happily agree sure, with some not? tea. So, how did this <laughs> It's only polite to drink tea with a man. Do you know? Of course, you know, you always worry about it being drugged. But if it's just tea. Dunno, unification war. I heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. Uh -huh. The objective? To occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. But the NUSA has disowned him, right? Clearly. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. Great, but what's our deal? Because that's my f focus. Where do, you, where do I fit into this and what exactly is your plan to remove the problem? It's all well and good chit-chatting, but what about our deal? Did my part, time you did yours. Ah, indeed. Yes. The Black Sapphire. Hansen stronghold. I feel like it'd be po impolite not to take another soldiers. sip of this tea. Military quarters are His gold teeth, that's what's messing me up. While top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra rich. Sounds the familiar. The blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> why not? But given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. Very well observed. Shop's a razor, this one. Phone blueprints, all nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Yep, this sounds about right. I don't think I was counting on something juicier. This is exactly the kind of thing I was expecting from him. Thanks. Thanks, Hans. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Okay. Let me guess. More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown. And behind closed doors, plots and schemes. No, I buy it. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Prime to meet you in person. Nice meeting you. Finally pinning a face on the name. 
you should count yourself lucky <laughs> if you have done so and that's a threat tale. that's a threat i don't know what oh excuse me whatever happens at the black sapphire make sure you come back alive mm. but you care you're going where local and international politics mix strong currents both i'll make sure to plant my feet firmly then later hands I buy him. Sorry, I would happily see him placed in charge of Dogtown. He has the all the necessary um, qualities of a fantastic ruler. Not a good, not a good ruler. Not a not a uh, responsible democratic leader. But the kind of person you probably want to take power, to be able to take power. If, if I were going to pick my authoritarian leaders, I'd choose this guy over Handsome. Someone stable and clearly capable over Handsome. Though the whole thing with authoritarian leaders is you don't get to choose them generally. Alright, I suppose we call up Reed and tell him we've got access. This one's ringing news, Reed, not texting news. That's a data shard from hands. Our golden ticket into the Black Sapphire. Perfect. Sent to him. No worries. This connection is secure. Everyone's connection is secure. Zipping you the deets. Catch. As twer. Hey, as the late T Bug would have said. Pass it on to Alex. As soon as you're ready, join us at the moth. If I'm not there when you arrive, just wait. Till then. Later, Reed. Right. That's all I had to do for now. I don't want to take that vehicle contract just yet. Now I've got more gigs available. Any other site missions? No, just the main mission. The main DLC mission. Uh, let's do another gig. I don't want to go straight to the main story because I think I'm going through it too quickly now. What happened, I believe, there was... Excuse me. I wonder if Delamain wants to have a bump about in Dogtown. Uh, what, things, what I think happened there is that if I hadn't already had done specifically that gig with uh, the Zeta Tech employee, I probably would have um, been asked to do that. Or at least some gigs before... Baby, don't hurt me. Where are my mats? You've said that before. Hello. It's a pleasure to have you again on the Delamain network. So, what is love? Oh, afraid there's no good answer to that question. As I feared. Do you know what that means? Uh, can't say I do. It's an aberration of science. To solve it, I must extend beyond. Del, gotta say, <laughs> don't really seem like yourself today. I love Del. Yes, I. I apologize for my behavior. I believe it's best I say goodbye now. Bye, Dell. I missed you, Dell. I missed you so much. Dell is the best robot in this entire game. Probably, uh, of all the games I've played, Delamain might easily be. might easily be my favorite robot. My favorite AI. He's kind of both simultaneously a bit cheeky, but also kind of human in his in his way. Gentlemen, I didn't. We get to cover. Sorry, Dell. I didn't know he, they were there. All right, fine. Down. Another one. Where are you? What the fuck was your problem? Fucking scabs. Alright. That having been done. <laughs> God. Frickin'. 
just running into random people who want to kill me for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Completely unreasonable. If you want me to go down, below here, I gotta find a way down, presumably. Alright, I guess I gotta go down here. That would make sense. Yonk. What is the situation in this part of the world? Mr. Hans's contact. Your hands Merc, right? One I'll second. You know Call you back. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, let me just move away so Hans can right, talk to me. So then what? <laughs> Hello Hans, you're you're visible now. I think he just called me to stare at me. <laughs> There's a job, V, a journalist. Bree Whitney has fled to Dogtown. I need you to look after her. Uh, what's the gig exactly? She fled? Means I gotta keep her tucked away? No. Bree has a lead. There's your voice. You're to help her complete her investigation. There's a corp on her tail, as she put it. That is all she said. Miss Whitney seems to have some minor trust issues. Sounds more like paranoia. Huh. Think she actually dug something up, or is it just garden variety paranoia? One doesn't exclude the other. Besides, I wouldn't call discretion paranoia. It's a safety measure. The reason, I would contend, why the client has yet to provide a rendezvous point. You'll go to her apartment first, on Skyline West. You're to collect an electronic access card. <laughs> And no, do not say this card wants it open. I simply don't know. Contact You've got a floor in your building that needs an access card. Alright. Cool. Happy to. Uh, Bree Whitney's address, 18 Skyline West, 5th floor, last door on the right. The card's in a safe box under a bamboo plant. Write to me, please, once you have it. Uh, it could be a while, be in touch. Confirm that. Alright, now you're Hans' contact. Uh, you're Hans' Merc, right? How much do you know about the job? Uh, straight to business. He's one of Hans' guys, so he's probably up for that. Uh, and I am too. 